Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrummy Quick Designs and I have something fun to show you today. Um, Cricut released some new products in the Cricut shop and one of them is something I'm super excited about and that is the new Cricut Patterned Iron On. Yes, it's patterned vinyl. Yay! Um, it comes in a bunch of different colors. I'm going to talk about it and then I'm going to show you up close what it looks like and also we're going to make a project with it. Um, so in the Cricut shop, it's underneath... Um, cutting materials and it's over here underneath iron-on because it is an iron-on product and it says pattern iron-on so when you go to that you're going to see that there's all these beautiful patterns now there are a couple of different ones from Anna Griffin and there are, are some that are just the Cricut uh, brand look how pretty they are and then there's some that are also Natalie Milan is one of their designers and they're beautiful watercolor ones um, really pretty this is a new product that just came out in Cricut I'm gonna post a link for you guys um, if you uh, make decide after you watch the video you want to make a purchase use my link to make your purchase in the Cricut.com shot and then you can use my SMQD code that'll give you 10% off your order plus free shipping in the US all right so let's take a look at this product okay so now that I've shown you where you can find the Cricut patterned iron-on in the shop I wanted to show you the actual product okay so they're going to come in a roll and you're going to get three patterns on one roll and the each sheet is 12 by 17 so you're going to get three sheets of 12 by 17 one in each of the three patterns that come in the particular set that sampler that you get um, so they're going to come on a roll like this this one is in bloom pink sampler and i'll show you that in a minute um, but I wanted to point out at the top of this, you're going to notice that it says strong bond, long lasting adhesive. Okay. So Cricut has changed with their Cricut um, iron on product for this. It has a different adhesive on the back of it that will make sure that your project's really going to adhere to the types of fabric that you're going to be applying it to. Okay, so that's great news. Thank you so much, Cricut. Um, the other thing that I wanted to point out was that these will come in a sh in on the roll okay so you can just you know say recycle these and do something else with them but they're going to come on a roll and these this is the these are the three that come in this particular set that i was showing you guys um and they're 12 they're 12 by 17 and the back of them is rough. It's got a rough texture. That is where the adhesive is, okay? On the front of it, it almost looks, see how like shiny it looks in the camera? It has like a plastic coating over it, okay? And that is your transfer sheet, okay? It's already applied, so you're not gonna use any Cricut transfer tape or any other kind of transfer tape. It's already on the pattern iron on. All right. And then you will need to have a light grip um, mat is what's recommended. And you'll use your regular Cricut blade that comes in your machine and your Cricut maker and your Cricut explore machines. And then you'll also need to have your weeding tools, whatever weeding tool you like, you like to use. Cricut has traditionally had some instructions printed on the inside of the wrappers for all the the iron-on and the vinyl products this particular one doesn't have that Cricut's going to be posting the instructions in their shop help.cricut.com and then search for pattern iron-on it tells you up here on the on the cover sheet where to go find that information and then I also have some directions that I can share with you guys okay um, but the first things first let's look at the pattern so you get three 12 by 12s in each set they're $14.99 for most of the most of the um, pattern iron on rolls there are a few licensed designs like Anna Griffin and those are going to be $17.99 but you get three sheets okay so normally if you're going to buy pattern iron on iron on somewhere it is going to be probably seven or eight dollars of sheet of it um, so this is really a good value for you to get three 
sheets. All right. So thank you, Cricut, for that. So what we might use this on, you can decorate shirts with it. You can decorate hoodies, baby onesies, throw pillows, aprons, tote bags. I mean, you the sky is the limit. You'll be able to cut any kind of shape out of it and letters and um, any kind of intricate designs as well. OK, so why don't we get started and work on a project? Okay, so now we're going to work on the project to work with the Cricut Pattern Iron-On. And I wanted to show you in Design Space, I've uploaded an SVG file that I'm going to use for my image that we're going to cut. So you can cut either Cricut images or you can cut SVG files or you can even cut letters and so forth uh, out of the Cricut Pattern Iron-On. All right. And everyone always asks me, where did you get your images from when I show you guys uh, tutorials? So this particular image image came from this bundle set that's called the huge SVG bundle. It's by craftbundles.com and right now it is on sale for only nine dollars and you get 533 SVG files. I know amazing right um, and I'll share the link to that and I have a promo code to give you that you can even get it a little bit cheaper than that. Um, so you'll want to you'll want to uh, look at the link in this video for that. All right, so we're going to get rid of that. So once you have your image on your design space mat and you're ready to um, cut it out, you've got it sized the way that you want it, we're going to go over to make it. And because I wanted to show you about the mirroring, right? I talked about the fact that you're going to need to mirror any of your iron-on product or your HTV heat transfer vinyl. You have to mirror it. And how do you do that? So here's the image. These are the little cotton tails for the bunnies on my image. And this is the mat over here on the right. And right here it says mirror that image. So I'm going to say yes. I'm going to click on that. And now <clears throat> what it's done is it has reversed the image it's hard to tell with the little cotton tails you'll be able to notice as we work on the other projects so for this particular project we're going to i'm using some white glitter paper i mean glitter paper i'm using some white heat transfer vinyl from cricut white iron on to make the bunny tails but as it cuts this out when it goes to the next screen which is the one of the bunnies that we're going to cut out of the pattern heat transfer vinyl. Once again, I have to tell it to mirror that image. So we're going to go here and we're going to click on it. And I'm going to say mirror. Okay. And then here is my bunny. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to go cut out. It'll go find my Cricut Maker. And then you want to be able to go in here and pick iron on. Okay. So there is not a particular setting in design space yet for the pattern iron on. Um, so you just want to pick the iron on setting. All right. And then we're going to um, tell it to load our mat and so forth. And so I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay. So now I want to show you how to put this on your mat so you get it on there correctly. So your project will be a success. So remember we talked about that the front where the pattern is has a lining on it and it's shiny, right? You can see that when you flip it over, it's, it's got the adhesive on the back. Now we're going to take the shiny side and lay it down on your light grip mat. Okay, and then you're just going to smooth it out with your hands. Okay, and then you'll put it in your machine and you will, of course, hit the button and it will send it to, through and it's going to cut out your image for you. Okay, and it'll take just a second. I'm going to move this forward a little bit. And we got to tell it we're ready for it to cut it for us. Now I'm working with a small uh, shirt, so it's a small image, so it doesn't take that long to cut it out. And what's going to happen is you will have done this for every single piece of the iron-on that you're using. You always put it shiny side down, and then the image is cut right here, 
Okay, I know it's hard to see that on camera. Um, but then I like to just take my pair of scissors and trim around the outside of the image, just trying to preserve as much of the material that didn't get cut as possible. Okay, and then I put it, so here's the image. This is the shiny side with the pattern. I'm, I like to just stick this down on my mat, and then I use my weeding tool, okay, and I'm going to weed away the part that we don't need, which I'm pulling this up off of. Here is the shiny. Here's the lining. Let me see if I can show you all that. So here's the lining, okay, and then I pulled up enough of this that I can then just weed away the excess that I don't need. Now this feels like a regular vinyl, okay? It's soft. You don't want to tear it. You want to gently just pull it away from your image. Look how nice and clean that cut using the iron-on setting in Design Space. Okay, so here is my little bunny. And when you flip it over, now you have the pattern, okay? So you're going to do this for all of the images, whatever it is that you're cutting out of this. And then I'll be back in a minute, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you how you adhere this to your shirt. So now we're going to be ready to go ahead and iron on our Cricut pattern vinyl. And you can see here, this is the shirt that I'm working on. Um, <clears throat> and so I chose to do... The little bunnies are in the new Cricut patterned iron-on, okay, so the back side is the adhesive, this is that lining, that plastic lining is on the front, and then this is where we weeded away the outside, right? So now I have these cute, these three cute little bunnies, so these are the three patterns that I picked. Super adorable. And then the rest of this file uh, that I had shown you guys says chilling with my pe chilling with my and then peeps and I chose to cut this out of um, Cricut uh, glitter iron-on so this is the green and then I did peeps in purple glitter it's so pretty and then I the bunny tails because the background of this Cricut pattern is white the white um, glitter vinyl didn't show up as well and so I decided to use the blue tails for the bunnies and I just thought that that really made it pop so that's what I'm going to do on my shirt and I'm going to set these off to the side for a moment and we're going to talk about um, how do you adhere this okay so I'm going to move this out of the way now oh, I'm going to be using my uh, Cricut Easy Press to adhere this and um, Cricut has a chart on their website and I'll post a link for that for y'all um, and it lets you know what is the you look what type of iron-on material are you using and we're going to be using the pattern iron-on and then this column lets you know this column lets you know what is the base material that you're ironing it onto. And I'm using a 100% cotton shirt. So I'm going to look at cotton. I'm going to go all the way over here to where it says pattern. And it lets me know that I need to turn, I need to do it at 340 degrees Fahrenheit and for 50 seconds to adhere my bunnies on my shirt. All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and, and do that. I'm going to turn, turn my machine on. It automatically already defaults to 240, so I know I need to increase this. Go all the way up to 340. Okay, and I know that my timer needs to be at 50 seconds, so I'm going to change my timer. So it's at 50 seconds. I mean, this thing is foolproof. And you follow the chart, you put the numbers in, and it's good. Okay, so while this is warming up, I'm this. we're waiting for the little uh, red to change to green. That lets me know that it's at the right temperature. But let's talk about how do you put, how do you use the Easy Press? So I am using my regular flat desk you want a flat desk surface this is wood it is and laminate it is not uh, bendable it's very tough surface you want that um, and then I'm using this is a silicon heat pad and I'll post a link for this as well um, and I'm using that to protect my surface from the heat of the easy press 
and then I have my shirt, okay? And um, you always want to warm up your object before, and I'm just going to go ahead, even though it's at, not at temperature yet, and I'm just going to go ahead and warm this up, okay? So this is a, a, a small child's T-shirt, and what I like to do is fold the shirt in half, Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to fold it in half, and then I'm just going to put my Easy Press on it and create a little bit of a crease on the front of the shirt. Uh, and what you're seeing is you'll see a little bit of a color variation, and that is perfectly normal. Don't think that the Easy Press ruined your shirt. What happens is it's wicking moisture out of the shirt when it does that, and it will change the color up for a few minutes on there. Okay, so I've got a line here now that's the center of my shirt. So when I go to put my project on, I know I want it to be about two or three fingers from where the uh, rib of the neckline. So I know I'm going to put my chillin's going to go up here. And I'm just going to center that. I'm looking at my center line and I'm centering this word, okay? And then underneath that, then I'm going to place my bunnies. And I trimmed, I trimmed my bunnies a little bit the, uh, the, uh, around the outside of the transfer paper that's on the front of it. Now we're not using any other transfer tape. We're using just what came on the project. So I'm lining up my bunnies and then of course then I'm going to have the word peeps is going to go under here but I don't want to set that on there just yet. So now I know where my bunnies are going to go. I'm going to take this, remove this and we're just going to put on the Cricut pattern. Okay, my uh, Easy Press has changed to the green light with the head and now I'm going to Put this on here and I'm going to hit the green for it to go and what's going to happen is it is going to count down it automatically does that for me so that is awesome now you're going to notice that it will drop the temperature a little bit and that is perfectly normal it does happen and uh, it is um, the way that the Cricut Easy Press works. So you'll see that it fluctuates a little bit, and that is, it has to do with um, once you put it on a cool surface, it warms, it cools it off. And then we are down to the last few seconds. There we go. Okay. And is you need to wait for this to cool down before you remove the lining, all right? So we're just going to do that. Usually I just kind of flip it up and, you know, kind of let it get off of this heated surface here and let it cool off. And what you're waiting for is for it to get cool, the liner to get cool that you can touch it, okay? So wait till it's cooled down. It's still a little warm. I'm going to wait another second or two. And you're going to wait till it cools down. It's called a cold peel. That's the word I was trying to use. It's a cold peel. So I'm just going to carefully remove it, the liner. Yay, look how cute they are. Okay. Remove the liner. Okay, and then Cricut recommends that once you've done that, then I'm going to flip the shirt over, and I'm still using my heat-resistant surface underneath. If you don't have one of these silicone pads, you can also use just a folded fluffy towel uh, will also work. And then I'm going to put this on, and then it said to do it for 15 seconds, so I'm just going to count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we're going to flip this over. 
and now this is adhered. It's going to stick. Cricut does recommend that you not wash the shirt for 24 hours after you've applied the applied this and then when you go to use the Cricut pattern iron on make sure that when you go to wash the shirt that has that on there just turn the shirt inside out and then put it in the washer in the dryer um, I do that on my shirts anyway where I have any kind of decals on them and it really helps um, keep them from getting all bumped around in the dryer as much um, but look how cute they are the little bunnies are adorable I'll scroll in super cute all right so now that we've done this part now I'm going to go in and I am going to add their little bunny tails and this is the the Cricut um, glitter vinyl so I'm going to put their little bunny tails on them and I'm just going to lay these on I we did these the same way I did the other ones we're going to add the word peeps down here and we're going to add the chilling the chill chilling with okay so now that I have these on what I need you to do though is if you're going to add any other material after you put down your pattern vinyl you want to use an iron-on protective sheet okay so you can use a, a, a Teflon sheet or I'm going to use my Cricut sheet here Cricut sells this as a Teflon sheet and this is going to help prevent extra heat from getting on top of my um, pattern vinyl it'll help protect it so I'm going to lay that on here and then I need to go because now I'm going to do glitter vinyl so I need to come over here to glitter and I'm putting it on cotton and it also is at 340 so I'm good but you only do it for 20 seconds so I need to adjust the timer on my easy press to 20 seconds okay and then I'm going to lay this on and this design is small enough it should fit all of it and then I'm going to hit the green button and we're going to count down for 20 seconds okay lift this up and you want to let the, the this uh, the protective sheet cool on the glitter vinyl okay so we're going to let that cool as well before we try to take it off okay so it's when it's cool to touch you can go ahead and remove it Just peeling that up I'm showing you guys live you know real time how I'm doing this part so you can see what you do and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the word peeps and I'm gonna do the same thing with the word chilling okay and then there again I'm going to flip it over again and I'm going to add just another 15 seconds of heat to the back of it and I'm just going to let that count down myself and then what this is doing is it is making sure that that has adhered well to the back going that little extra step makes all the difference Okay, and now I have my chilling with my peep shirt is completed. It turned out really cute. The Cricut uh, pattern iron on is really, really adds a lot to the shirt. It looks very professional. Um, like you had bought this at the store. Yay, I love it. It's so cute. My granddaughter is really going to love it. All right, so. Um, those are my tips for working with um, the Cricut pattern iron-on. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the whole process of this. Um, I appreciate you subscribing to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any other questions about the Cricut iron-on pattern vinyl. And there again, don't forget the, the design that I used came from um, Craft Bundles, the huge SVG bundle. 
and uh, they have bundles every month and they're awesome and uh, you should give those a try too if you're looking for some fun SVG files. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.